If installing the instrument without a bracket, you first need to punch out the covers on the four corner holes of the instrument. To gain access, loosen the two screws on the front of the device. If you just simply place the screwdriver right over the top of the little thing and just a simple little punch, this will cause the material to drop out of place. You can use a small screwdriver to remove the excess material from the hole. Four bolts are needed to hold the back of the process instrument if the mounting bracket is not used. These bolts should be mounted level and a certain distance apart. The distance horizontally apart is 7.48 inches or 190 millimeters. Vertically, the two should be apart by 3.58 inches or 91 millimeters. A simple way of doing this is by first mounting your first bolt and temporarily placing the instrument onto that particular bolt. Using a level, using a level, the instrument can be held in place and a pin can mark the position of the other four holes. Like so. Once the position of the four holes have been marked out, they can be drilled with the drill and bit. And we can mount the three remaining screws, being sure to make sure we have about eight millimeters of clearance make sure that the sensor can mount onto the bolts. The instrument can be mounted on the four holes. And by opening the door, we can take a screwdriver and tighten the screws to firmly hold the sensor to the wall. Be careful on this lower left one just to make sure that you gently move the wires out of place be able to screw in and tighten that last screw. Before closing the door, this is a great opportunity to install the desiccant cartridge to keep humidity from causing any problems with the sensor. It simply slides into place and the tube can be connected to the quick connect right there on the side of the pump. Then we can close the door and go ahead and tighten the two screws in place.